subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! We are back again in the Soul Strength Centre. Uh, deadlift day today. Um, you've got a new suit to try on. Yes, yeah, it's very hell, very hell. Yeah. Have fun watching me get in this. No suit virgin no more. I'm just, I'm not wanting to go two balls to the wall. Just feeling a little bit fragile today for some reason. Um, so I'll do a single or so. So we'll Let's go ahead and crack on axle deadlifts to start off with. Yeah, look, boys, what's that? Hey. <laughs> Feeling good, mate. Hey <laughs> right, guys, so we've been asking you. Um, on the community tab in YouTube, what you want to see. Well, one of the most common answers is how to log press. After Europe, Europe's strongest man, the, the World Log Lift Championships, we'll get a wee video. So basically we'll talk you through how to, um, how to log press. I know it sounds simple, but there's three basic commands. Um, off the ground, lap, up to your chest, and then press. Um, I see a lot of guys doing one, like, or one rep, or uh, Viper press, um, log press. Um, for me, it's not the best way to do. Um, I find my triceps really burn out a lot quicker doing this. I'm not going to go into that. I'm just going to go into conventional log press, um, working in our core, our stability, um, how wide our feet should be, where our log our log should be sitting in line with our hips. Um, so we'll go through all that. So stay tuned for a tutorial on how to log press by Tom and Luke, the world's strongest brothers. <coughs> What the hell? The warm up's done now. I'm just gonna go for a, a, an easy single at 340 today. It's, it's a bad mentality, I think, sometimes for me. I just need to minimize damage and deadlifts. That's all I need to do. So I look at whoever's in front of me, how many reps they've done in deadlift, and then try and chase down a few people. But obviously my, my mentality will change after um, I get some good training, good steady training, and I'm trying to really, really improve my, my deadlift and see if I can push that up. But for the moment, I need to kind of finish like top in the log, car walk, stones, shield carry, those four events at U uh, Europe's are the ones that I'm really needing to do well in and then deadlift for me it's just at the moment it is how it is you know I'm a realist so just a little bit dodgy after my injury before worlds with my back but it will come it will improve but at the moment I'm just kind of eating on the side of caution and I think that's a good thing to be for me rather than go all out balls to the wall um, and then my CNS and my body be, be fried for for tomorrow's session where for me that's a big one, that's the events one, so playing it a bit more conservative, so yeah, 340 should be okay. You way back to wearing my old suit as well, um, which I'm a bit more used to. I'll get more used to the new suit in the, the kind of off-season training. So let's go and see how 340 feels. How did your deadlifts go, man? Yeah, it felt comfortable. Body still feels okay. So yeah, coming to uh, Europe's a week Saturday, I'm hoping I'll be in a good position going into deadlifts so I can really kind of, not play the game, but kind of suss out what the other guys have done. So say if there's guys on eight, nine, ten reps, at the moment I'm not quite there yet, so I'm not going to try and chase that um, and kind of kill myself trying to get that. Um, I need to be smart. Um, and that's, that's what I haven't done before. Before in, in competitions, I haven't been that smart and I haven't kind of analysed um, the, the other guys that's gone in front of me. So this time, you know, I need to have a look at that and just kind of suss out and see where see where I think I can finish and what the, the best place I can finish is in the deadlift. And we'll take it from there.
How was your suit feeling, mate? That was hell. Um, you know, you don't usually change, uh, like, change what I've been used to, but deadlifts aren't going to be the best with my hamstrings, so I thought stuff it at me as well, you know. I know that the suit helps you off the floor. That's where I'm kind of weak right now, and yeah, it did. I ended up hitting 340 for five, first time doing a suit, so happy enough. Look, put it on tight, I could hardly breathe, but it is what it is. But yeah, very happy that, uh, you know, the first time using a suit, I hit the numbers I was meant to, so. As you've seen today, you know, um, I put a suit on which a year ago, if I put that on, it would have, uh, how do I say it for YouTube, flipped with my mind. <laughs> my mind would have went mental, so uh, it was nice to kind of put the suit on and hit 340 for five, like two weeks training deadlifts, so I'm very happy with that, you know. Deadlifts have been kind of a weak one for me, my head's not been in it, but to get in it and uh, no, not, not feeling the best either, you know, it's been very busy this week because of the weddings and just business as well, so me and Luke are training the best we can and but we're going to come good, so yeah, like I said, we're not, we're not pushing 100% in training, that's pointless, I mean, I could have went and killed myself there, but what's the point doing that? I just want to do feel five reps, see how it felt, and boom, same with the logs, same with everything I'm going to do this week, it's just going up to maybe 90% and seeing how it feels, but yeah, I'm very happy with the deadlifts. Now we're on to accessories, uh, three sets of ten, the lap pull down, so let's get these lats pumped big and massive. Lats are very important for deadlift power as well, so you need to attack the lats, so obviously deadlift attacks your whole body. Uh, we do lat pull down specifically to attack the lats, help with deadlift. Same with middle rows, shrugs, all this assistant stuff we do help deadlifts, and that's why we do these kind of, that's why they're called accessories, to help with the main lifts. You learn something new every day. Tom's on the spinny bike, I'm on the wee bike. We're doing two rounds of um, all out. See how it goes, hopefully we won't be sick. Fingers crossed. Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> That's a deadlift slash back session done in the sun in the highlands. Another sunny day here. We must be taking the sun out, Luke. It's, uh, it's following us everywhere we go. But anyway, um, good deadlift session for myself. Like I said, felt the suit. That most hellish thing in the world. Whoever invented one of them suits, wow. I don't. And I, I, well, I wish I was the inventor because I could laugh at people when they get in it. How was your deadlift? That was fine. Anyway, cheers guys, thank you for watching, thank you for all the comment and the support, keep buying our merchandise and just big love, have a great weekend, cheers. Stay safe, smile and stay spicy. And don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling. <laughs>